Hi, I am Sue Mons, and today I'm going to explain to you what the ICD-10 PCS code is, how many characters it consists of, and what each character means. I think it would be better to understand what the actual code is and the definitions of each character in order to understand the organization of the ICD-10 PCS coding book. So briefly, I'm just gonna go over the code and the characters. If you notice, on this explanation, this table, the code consists of seven characters. The first character is your section. Your second character is your body system. The third character of the code is your root operation. Your fourth character is your body part. Your fifth character is your approach. Sixth character is device. Seventh character is qualifier. If you note at the very tippy top of this table, there is a pretty cool acronym. Susie bought root beer at Dairy Queen. The beginning of each letter of each word, first letter of each word, actually represents what the, the character symbolizes. So Susie for section, bought for body system, root for root operation, and so forth and so on. That might help you remember a little bit what each character represents. So when we say section, what does that mean? Well, that's a broad procedure code where the code is found medically or slash surgically. So for instance, if it's a medical surgical procedure that was performed, we know that the first character is going to start with the number zero. If you are coding for an OB procedure, we know that the first character is going to start with the number one. The second character represents the body system. So if when that which is the anatomical region. So if you're coding for a procedure, med surge procedure, we know that the first character would be zero. And your second character for the central nervous system, that would be the number zero as well. If you were coding a procedure on the heart, we know that the, the first character would be zero and the second character would be two representing the heart and the great vessels. This is just a couple examples just so you're kind of getting familiar how you build the the code, the procedure code by each character. Your third character is your root operation. This is going to be the keyword that you use in the alphabetical index to find and build the rest of your code. So for instance, we'll I'll explain for the same one, uh, you're doing a procedure, maybe a coronary artery bypass graft, a cabbage. So we know that's a medical surgical code. So we, our first character would be zero. We know that it's on the heart. So our body system is heart, which would be two as our second character. And we know in order to find the rest of the code and build that code, we know that a coronary artery bypass graft, our root operation word is going to be bypass. So this would be the word that we would look up in the alphabetical index, build our code, our procedure code, and then we would verify this code that is available for us in the alphabetical index in what, they, what you call tables and that is a section that would be comparable to your tabular list in your ICD-10 CM diagnosis code book. So let's move to the fourth character. That is your body part. Okay, this word use in index means to use that body part. The work C is referencing to go to another area in the index. So that is what, it's, a, it's more specific than body system. It's actually going to be what part of the body. So for instance, we were talking about the bypass, the coronary artery bypass. 
Two represented the anatomical region, which was heart. We found the code by using the word bypass in the alphabetical index. Our body part is probably is going to be one of the arteries that was bypassed. So that is the difference between your body system and your body part. Your character number five would be your approach. How did you perform, how did the provider perform the procedure? Was it percutaneously through the skin? Was it through a natural opening? Or was it an excision or an incision that was created by the provider? Your character six is the device. What was used to perform the procedure of the approach? And then the last code, the last character, I'm sorry, the last character qualifier is no specific guidelines for, def, for this character. It is applied for different sections and body systems. And as you learn more about coding ICD-10 PCS, you will learn what character that you will put for the seventh character. I hope this, you understand, it's a little confusing. You may wanna watch this video a couple more times to understand building a ICD-10 PCS character, and then you will be able to really utilize your ICD-10 PCS coding book. Thank you.